and you're on. Hey, we're back. <laughs> Today's pink day. We're in a positive mindset. I'm going to address a couple things first and foremost. How many comments? How many comments about the engine being in backwards, Jamie? I got to say, can you count that high? 11 million. Let's just put this to bed. Please. <clears throat> Someone said, with the chassis like that, will you be able to remove the spark plug? Someone said, will you be able to put a carburetor on that engine? Everyone, not everyone, a lot of people said the engine is spinning the wrong way. It's backwards. The wheels on the bus go round and round, right? The crankshaft on the engine goes round and round. End of that discussion. Wouldn't the engine cool better if it was reversed so that the cylinder head would get the most air? There is a fan on the engine that blows through across the cylinder head, regardless of the incoming airflow. And last, and definitely least, aren't you worried about the heat from the engine superheating the fuel in the tank? You mean like every other motorcycle on the planet? <laughs> no, we're through that. The good news is we got rims. Heck yeah. Exhibit A. Yeah. They fit. Ordered the proper width rim. Hello. They fit the hub. Perfectamundo. Cute. Minimum offset. Look at that. Wow. So that's going to work out just I don't even know dang. what that means when you put that on there, but hey. Well, remember, you have to make that offset for the sprocket. So it's not going to be very big now. Remember we are talking about that tube? Uh-huh. So see that? Like, uh, yes, 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 yes. Sprocket's only going to need about that much tube, which is good. It just tightens the whole thing up. Uh, it's not going to be four feet wide in the end, but hey, you take what you can get. You make great plans. No, you, you shoot for the stars and you just might reach the moon. So I mounted them up. They still don't hold air, but we're going to figure that out. Oh my. So what we're up to today. Oh, a little more addressing the topics. Uh, a lot of people said, hey, why don't you just put a jack shaft on that? Yeah, we covered that. And then other people said, isn't that going to be flimsy all in all? Isn't this area going to be flimsy and want to break? Yeah. Yeah, it is. But you know what else? We're only in the concept stage. There's no gusses. There's no gu That's not going to be enough, room, enough, enough grab on your head tube. You're going to have to gusset it. So I had did a mock-up, like a mock-up thing with the alien spaceship, and I was always putting mock-up on some of the videos, and then someone commented, and they're like, we know it's a mock-up. <laughs> but evidently, I need to put it on there again. But what you're seeing here is purely a mockery. It's a mockery mock-up. Wait until it's done. Please, let's just enjoy the process, shall we? Mm -hmm. So we got this and we got this and there ain't no in between, right? We're aiming to get this thing on three wheels stat. So we're going to set that up today. Let's take this off the table. Oh, and we have these pink shirts that Ian has on for sale in our merch store. Just FYI, if y'all like pink. They don't come with a hole in it though. <laughs> You got to do that yourself. Ooh, we're not going to want to lose that key, are we? Mm -hmm. What was that? Uh, this is the key to the shaft. 
goes in there. So we're gonna, oh, yeah. We're going to need to hold Put on to that. Put that somewhere special. Yeah. All right, so we're going to take the old mini bike frame and we're going to cut it up. That's what we do. So if you didn't see the first episode, we got this from our friend Tom Taylor. Thank, thank you, Tom Taylor. And again, I, I like this because it didn't have an engine plate. You know, it, the forks are a little bit bent. See, mini bikes run into stuff. So I'm just going to use this head tube. We're going to cut this right off. We're going to modify. It looks like we'll just unbolt this here and get right to it. I'm imagining that there's like a brass or bronze bushing in here, and that's why I'm cutting this much why I'm cutting this frame apart because I don't want to reinvent the wheel or the fork. Yeah, as per Tom's usual maintenance, it's well lubed. Figured it would be some good stuff. And I was ready. Yeah, so it's got uh, brass or bronze bushings in there. Perfect for mini bike steering. Hopefully my eye muffs fit over my. Hopefully my eye muffs fit over my glasses. These yeah. are my glasses today. Jamie, Jamie's modeling the Mr. Peabody. Because <laughs> I forgot my other ones at home. We also have a thing where we uh, try to buy the goofiest eyewear. So. It's neck and neck right now. I got a set. I like these foot pegs too. I'm probably going to repurpose those. Yeah, those are cool. All right. For those that are loyal watchers of our content, uh, you'll probably notice a few things changing with the channel, like uh, these affiliate links that are popping up. Um, this is our job, and uh, our YouTube is getting increasingly successful. So there's a way that successful people play the game. We're learning that. It's yeah. advertisement driven. So. If you see anything that appeals to you in these pop-up things, uh, I'm creating a list. Jamie's creating a list of things we use, you know, from the shorts, from the work gloves. Show your vans. I'm working, I'm working with a YouTube manager now to grow our channel and just make it better. So they told us about affiliate links. And I mean, you can look this stylish. <laughs> So if you click on them, you decide you need yourself a new pair of shoes or whatever it is, uh, we do earn a commission from it. And, you know, if not, that's cool too. But we want to keep our channel content free. We decided against memberships. That's why YouTube is free because uh, the behind the scenes, that's what yeah. it is. It's advertisement. and uh, So we're steering clear of the memberships and doing affiliate links instead. Yeah, and there's no, uh, like... With the other networks, you have to get a special subscription, etc. YouTube is there. We even get it on our TV. It's awesome. <laughs> anyway, so, thank we you. We digress. Uh, all right, now that we took care of the business, back to the creature. Uh, yeah, so this head tube is going to go here, right? But this is very wide. See these two tubes? And I like that because it offers a degree of strength, but... Uh, gonna look weird with this so I found this heavier pipe that seems to slide right into it so let's cut off a shank of that on the saw about the same length as that because uh, I think we can get away with it you know visually I didn't want to come up with this big massive headset uh, we are uh, not twice the size but larger so, I don't know. Do you think that looks too bulky? A little bit. Hey, you asked. I thought that when you held it up the first time. So, what's the creative solution? We're just going to set this in, and maybe we're just going to hammer this shut. We'll hide it with a gusset. Gusset. Get in there with the grinder and start to clearance that out. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, I like it. I think I'm going to weld this in and then maybe heat these up and smash them flat. Not a deal breaker. Yeah. And we'll just gusset off here. All right, now I want to see if this rake is what we need. Man, at that angle. Put the tire right about there. That looks proportional. Let's do yes, that. Yes, it does. Well, did it good. Yeah, when I just dented those, it twisted that, so I don't have to heat it up. I did it. Boom. Dress it up now that it's hot. Blue. Somebody jumped the fence again. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Good blue. Good boy. He Come doesn't on. want to go. <laughs> Good blue. Just like that, we're back. <laughs> so we got to figure out how to connect these tubes to that. Uh, we're going to put a gusset in here later. It's kind of what we're up against. I know that that is nuclear hot. I will not touch it. Oh, that was nuclear hot because it's all swollen. Won't even pop out. Shakes. Fire. She's a 
little swelled up. All right, so there we are. All right, so I guess the decision is uh, which fork legs go there. See, we could, uh, I guess we'll just do the bottom one. We'll just replace them. Boom. Yeah, so I'm going to cut these out. And I'm going to set these right into place. Ever so delicately. So they're the same. Oh, these are bigger. Oh no, because these are one inch. Nope, they're the same. All right, so I'm going to lose in hardware. Ever a dull moment. What are you losing? Oh, an arm. Nuts and bolts are coming apart as we speak. Project's getting loose. All right, yeah, I'm going to trim these fork legs out. Whoa. All right, so um, these guys are already set up parallel and nice. So I wonder, I'm just going to cut these off and see what happens. I mean, imagine if those slipped right in there. That would be something. I think I'm asking for too much. It's very simple to make a jig, but we shall see. Just see how these add up. Nope, exactly the same. Just thinking the seven eighths might slip right in, but that's the same. Let's see how much of that I need. Okay, so as a rough guesstimation, we're gonna need these. I think just, I guess a little bit longer than that, because that's at the bottom. Actually, no, that'll be perfect, because that's going to bring it up just a little bit. All right, so I'm just going to start off by marking this right here. I'm sure we're on the right tube. That's the upper, and that's the lower. So I'm going to take these lower bars off and make them identical length and transplant them onto that right before your very eyes. Any questions? Right before my four eyes. Yes. This is Peabody. Got to lower. I got to lower. Okay, let's move this over. So, where's our mark? We got our mark here. So the critical thing is that they're exactly the same length. We're going to put a bolt through that. Uh, they have to be the same length, otherwise your tire uh, is going to be askew. It's not going to not going to track straight. So we got a bolt in there to hold it. And it's going to cut straight across right there. Because um, that's the critical measurement from this pivot point to the top of the headset. All right, now we got these. And what I'm going to do as a jig, I just thought, um, if I just cut this all apart, it would be super loose. So what I'm going to do is cut one tube out. This will hold it. I'll weld that one in. Flip flop. Check. Repeat. I might even put a bolt through. I'll set this one here as an extra measure of alignment.
right. Yeah. Now I can lay this flat on the table. Take one of these off. Uh, so you can see by cutting it the way I did, uh, I was able to just expose this because the welds on these mini bikes don't really have a lot of penetration. So that's just the way that they cut it. It's perfect. That little piece of the tube pop right out. Then you can see I got the index right here. I'm just weld centered right on top of that. So pretty much, see, fits perfect. Set that. Right into place. I got the square and I'll just square that too. Yeah. Right toe. So down here, I just had this piece of steel bar that uh, acts pretty well as a spreader, but I want, also want this tab to be perfectly vertical. A little more difficult with this square being, oh no, there it is, cool. And then that is level right into the other one. Cool. Yep, it's square, it's square, let's stack it. Okay, so a couple tacks on this, and then I can cut this one out because now we are jigged. Uh, this is what I was describing. See the little piece of the tube that remains? Mm -hmm. So uh, once the weld is cut, of course this one's not gonna pop off. Nope, they welded this one good. Oh no, there it goes. So see that tube just comes right out. Nope, I managed to get one decent weld, so just grind it off. All right, so we have the same story. Let me get that set in. So let's see what these measurements are. Inside, we got five and a half, five and three eighths, five, three eighths. So we want this to be roughly there. There it is. All right, that looks good. Let's square it. So the whole thing here, see this is coming down. You just want to be sure that that axle is square and it looks like it. And that square, this, Square. Measurement check once more. So five and three eighths. Three eighths. I gotta gouge this out a little bit more. It's a little off. I gotta open that up. There's still metal in there. There it is. Okay. 
Ja, prima. All right, let's weld it. All right, so all this is going to get a uh, trim back, dressed up, all the things. But this is just uh, what is it? Mock up. Well, uh, at least we know one thing: the mock. -up. All right, so that's pretty much the lower legs. The tire looks good, the forks look straight. But uh, remember, these pivot, that's what the suspension is. See? Mm. That's, that's the suspension like that. So you want those rocker arms kind of sitting like that. Someone said that they should be horizontal, and I'm cool with that too. Yeah, but how do we get that to work with the spring? Remember I made this thing as the top. All right, and we got this thing. Somebody said, oh, I guarantee you that thing's not gonna work. It's just gonna break. We're just using it for the parts. We're gonna uh, try to modify this. So I could see that uh, with this being horizontal, see I was worried about these interfering, right? But that actually just works out. That'll move. So yeah, we just got a lot of loose ends right now. I keep tipping this over. So uh, what I wanna do is get the rims mounted with the tires, get those slid on there so this thing doesn't keep falling off table and then we're going to come back and figure out how the heck does this thing suspend itself. We got a lot of loose ends. It's time to button them up.